Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the nine most common breeding alien species in the UK. First up, and in ninth place, is the Canada Goose. These were brought to the UK from North America in the 17th century, specifically to St James's Park in London. Their popularity grew, and by World War II, small feral populations had established themselves up and down the country. With their rapid breeding and ability to colonise new places, their numbers doubled by the 1980s, and they are now the most widespread and numerous non-native goose. At the most recent count, there were 108,000 of them in the UK. In 8th place is the Reeves Muntjac. These are native to China and were introduced to Woburn Park by the Duke of Bedford in 1894. Shortly afterwards, they were deliberately released into surrounding woodland and since then, they have spread across all of England and a lot of Scotland and Wales too. They can breed all year round and whilst there are varying figures for how many there are in the UK, the very lowest estimates are 100,000 and some suggest there may be as many as two and a half million of them. Coming in at number seven is the fallow deer. They aren't native and were first brought here by the Romans before being reintroduced and spread more widely by the Normans. For centuries they were kept in deer parks, but escapees and deliberate releases allowed them to establish in the wider countryside. Today, fallow deer are found across much of England and Wales with their range continuing to expand into Scotland, and whilst estimates vary, the UK population is thought to be at least 130,000, with some figures putting it even higher. When I filmed the intro for this, I was hoping to avoid game birds by adding that they needed to be breeding in the UK, but it turns out that aside from the massive numbers that are released, around 150,000 red-legged partridge also breed in the UK putting them in 6th place. These were introduced from France in the 1700s to be hunted and are now found across most of lowland Britain. In recent years their breeding numbers have declined even though between 6 and 10 million of them are released every year. I'm sure quite a few people will be surprised to see the brown hair in this video, but yes, they are actually a non-native species and were originally introduced to the UK. This happened around 2000 years ago and they were probably brought here from mainland Europe by the Romans or even before then. Current estimates vary a lot but there are thought to be between 580 and 800,000 of them living here now. Next up and in fourth place is the alien animal that is probably the most familiar for a lot of people, the grey squirrel. These were introduced to around 30 sites across Britain between 1876 and 1929 by collectors and landowners. Although they are native to North America, they soon colonised the countryside, outcompeting and spreading a disease to our native red squirrels as they went. There are currently between 2.5 and 3 million of them here, but with the recolonisation of one of their key predators, the pine martin, and intensive culling in some places, their numbers are starting to decline. And in third place, it's the common pheasant. These were originally from Asia and were first brought to the UK around 100 AD by the Romans. When the Roman Empire fell, so did pheasant populations and it's likely that they went extinct here until being reintroduced by the Normans after 1066. Their numbers have fluctuated a lot since then and perhaps they would have gone extinct again if it wasn't for the unimaginably large numbers of them being released every year to be shot. Either way, there are currently more than 2.4 million breeding female pheasants in the UK, and an uncounted number of males. In its second place is a non-native animal that is more common than the previous three combined, but also usually pretty good at staying out of view, the brown rat. Estimates for how many of these are in the UK vary greatly, but most sources suggest that there are at least 10 million of them. Brown rats arrived accidentally to the UK on ships from Russia or Northern Europe, and they used to be known as Norway rats for this reason. 
even though they are originally from Asia and actually made it to the UK before they colonised Norway. They were first recorded here in the 1700s. Brown rats are often mistakenly blamed for helping with the spread of the plague, but they definitely had nothing to do with it in the UK as they weren't even here by then. And finally, in at first place is a species that is often overlooked as a non-native, yet is by far the most common introduced species, the European rabbit. Since the 1990s, their numbers have fallen by more than 60%, but there are still more than 36 million of them here. The first records of rabbits in the UK are around the 1st century AD, but they aren't thought to have colonised the world until after the Norman conquest in 1066. Although they are originally introduced, these days rabbits are looked at as a keystone species in a lot of places and are valued for the habitats that their browsing and burrowing creates, which can help a lot of rarer native species. And that's all nine of them. I would like to say that there are probably lots of invertebrates that should have featured on this list and potentially some fish as well, but figures for their numbers are just too unreliable for me to include. If you want to support my channel even more than by watching my content, then you can do so here on Patreon. And if you want to see another video like this, then check out this one on screen now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.